In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with our sessions portion of EOS. Now, we already have create session and we have destroy session. However, everything else is unrelated to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a function that allows us to find any session that we have already created. Now, keep in mind, I am testing on only one machine, one Steam account and all that kind of stuff. So I only have the ability to really, let me rephrase that. I don't have the ability to find and join other sessions. So you're just going to have to kind of follow along and really I'll explain once we get farther along the reason behind this. So anyways, what we want to do is we want to create a new function called find sessions just like we have here. So I'm going to copy that, go right below destroy session and we're going to do find sessions. Just like so. Now inside of here we're going to do everything in the exact same manner. So like with destroy a session, we want to make sure we're logged in, make sure our online subsystem is valid, and get the session pointer. So we can really copy everything that's inside of destroy session, paste it in, and then just remove the destroy session portion. So off of session pointer, we will want to, if I can click it, call find sessions. Now you can see a couple of different things that it takes in here and same thing like always we have our delegates. So we're going to call find sessions and here we have the searching player number that's going to be zero and then the remainder which is going to be a T shared ref to F online session search. So that's where we're going to have to create it now or sorry so, yeah session search I got myself mixed up. So and this is actually going to fill up everything inside of that structure as well. So what we're going to want to do is create a t shared pointer of f online session search and we're just going to call this one search settings so we're going to pass that in and then we have to do dot to shared ref and that'll kind of give us basically what we need so i'm going to also set up the delegate as well so again it's session pointer find here it is on find session complete delegates on find session complete delegates and that should be the correct one yep f on find session to complete and here we have to do the same thing that we do everywhere is we have to bind it to a function for it to fire so new dot add we're going to do a u object and we're going to do this and then we have to give it a function so we don't have one right now so let's try to see what it takes in so I'm going to go to this delegate and it looks like it just takes in a boolean so B was successful so that's all we should have to have so void on find sessions complete bool B was successful simple as that now we can use this function here, just like so. So whenever we call find sessions, it should now have this delegate bound. So it should fire this function once it has either completed successfully or failed. Again, it's all in the same manner of how we do this. And I just goofed a bit, it takes in the address to the function, sorry. Okay, so once we have that, let's start tinkering with our session settings. So session, was it session settings or search settings? Yeah, search settings equals make shareable. And this is going to be of the type, ah, what was it? F online, was it session search? Yeah, F online session search. Make sure it's new. And now we can do search settings. And here we can actually set our search settings. So for example, actually you can see right here, here's our search results. So we're going to be reusing the search settings. This is why I stored it in the header, because once we get down to on find sessions complete, we're going to use search settings to get the search results. And basically our search results are going to be all the sessions that it found. So again, that's the whole reason behind that. So. We have our query settings, and here we can set a couple of things. So, 
If this looks familiar to you, let's go to our Create Session. So here we have our session settings, basically the same kind of deal, and we have dot .set. So it takes in a key, its value, and then the advertisement type. We're going to do the exact same thing here. Now, it's a little bit different, but this is something that's going to be very important. So, like, when I say very important, as in I've been trying for months, and thanks to a couple people in my Discord, they put me in the right direction to actually be able to get this working because they were basically the only people that I know of that have currently got the online subsystem for EOS plugin, like the one from Epic that we're using, to actually work with sessions. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add two of these. So the first one is going to be the same thing that we're having right here. So where we search, use a search keywords to find YouTube tutorial lobby. That's what we're going to add. So let's go ahead and do that first. So search keywords and the value is going to be I cannot remember it off the top of my head YouTube tutorial lobby or whatever yours may be and then we have the type so e online comparison operator so e online comparison op we're going to do e equals so that way we match it now we can go ahead and copy this whole thing paste it in and we're going to change this up a bit so we're not going to use search keywords we're going to use another one. So if we look through the list here, uh, right here, we have one for search lobbies. So because we are searching, in our case, we are using lobbies and create session, which is to get it to actually work and show up through Steam, we have to make sure we search lobbies. So here we're going to set this to search lobbies. And this is not a string. This is going to have a Boolean. So we're going to do true. So now we're telling it that when we search through our, like basically go to find all the sessions, we are going to also be searching through and finding lobbies as well. So this should allow us to find, well, our lobby that we created. Okay, and lastly, on find sessions complete. So I want to print out this value like I always do. So if B was successful, we're going to print out a log. So percent D, B was successful. And I'm actually going to do this outside of this at the top. And if that is successful, what I want to do is actually print out the amount of lobbies that we found. So found percent D lobbies. And here's where we're going to use our search settings again. So search settings dot, all right, sorry, search settings search results dot num so that should give us the amount of lobbies that we found and then lastly only thing we want to do is clear this delegate so we don't want this to be basically be binding more than one time so to do that copy that section paste it in and instead of doing all this We're going to do session pointer, clear on find session complete delegates, and pass in this for the object. So this will clear this bound delegate. So now in theory, we should be able to create a session and be able to find it in the same manner. So I'm going to actually give this a try. I'm a little bit curious if, I don't, if it'll actually work with a land match. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but let's just go ahead and I guess see. So, oh wait, I almost forgot. Actually, there's a few more settings that we want to do first. So if we go to our config here, and basically, yeah, default engine, you can see if we scroll down, we're still using the Steam app ID 480. Now, because of this, this is not a, I guess you could say unique app ID. This is going to have a problem of searching for anyone using this app ID. So what we're going to want to do is give this a very high count of max search results that it can find. Because otherwise, if you set it at, let's say you set it to something like 5. Well, because of how that app ID is used, you're not going to find your own. You're going to find a bunch of results that are not really yours. So this is where you normally want to set it to some absurdly high value. So search settings, match search results, and we're going to set this to... I'm going to, nah, 8,000 is a little excessive. I'm just going to set it to something crazy high like 5,000 just to make sure that that is not going to be the problem. 
Okay, so once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and compile. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and try to launch the project and just see kind of what happens, I guess. So I already have the dev all tool set up. So, oh, and I forgot to set up a button. So let's just, uh, I guess, call create session. Let's see, are we actually logging in first? Okay, so we're automatically logging in. So let's call create session. Okay, so we have a bunch of issues. As you can tell, I don't have Steam open because I'm a dope. So let me reopen Steam. All right, so hurry open Steam. Okay, we logged in. That's fine. Steam's open. There's that big overlay. We hit create session. Okay, create session completed one. And it sounds like we might be good to go. So I should have the option to invite to lobby. So unless that's specific to Space Wars, but we should be okay. So now we just want to set up something to where we can actually find the lobbies. And I forgot because I'm playing on land, I can't invite like that. So I'm going to destroy the session, load it up inside the editor. We're going to open up our widget here and create basically just a new button. So show friends UI, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to bump this up to right below destroy sessions and give this a new text of find sessions okay b find sessions add non clicked move this all down and we simply call find sessions so, once this is actually done, we will hopefully be able to fire it off. I doubt we'll be able to find any sessions itself, though, just for the sake of the issues that I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video. So, what I'm going to do is just launch with two clients, and on the off chance that it works, great. If not, it's not really a surprise, mostly because I'm also playing on the same Steam account. So, if this was like the null subsystem, for example, this would be fine. So I open one, and I open two. I don't even know if it's actually going to log in, OK? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So we're getting a bunch of complaints regarding Steam. Logged in OK. I'm going to create the session. So that did its thing. And find sessions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Found zero lobbies. So. That's not something I'm going to put a test, but you should have no problem performing this on your own end. So let me double check one thing really fast as well inside of create sessions, because we should be performing a server travel. Okay, we are, so that's all good to go. So yeah, it's just related to uh, basically, if like I said before, if we're using the null subsystem, this is where you can test because it's set up that way. You can test on the same machine, no accounts, no online or anything. But due to the way that this is set up, basically, if you're wanting to test this, you're going to need a friend that either has the same project, so set up a repository or package it, and they need to be on a different, you should be able to be okay on the same network with a different machine and a different Steam account, which unfortunately I don't have, but even if they're away somewhere on another location on a different network, as long as they have another PC with another Steam account, you should be able to join. So I want to set B as land match back to false, and now we should be good to go. So we have the basics of it set up. This should be everything you need to really find the sessions. So once this fires, in your case, if you have another session open, this should actually print out one. But again, for the reason I just explained, that's not going to happen here. OK, and in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually join said session. So we're going to set up another function that this function actually calls if it finds a valid session that is going to trigger a join to said session. So we're just going to basically perform a client travel to it. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a team deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.